Hey everyone, it's Aaron from WPKB and in this video on WooCommerce, we're going to show you how to create and effectively manage categories. So here on my screen now, you can see I'm in the products area uh, of WooCommerce. So what I need to do now is jump over here into categories. Uh, we need to think of these as product categories though, but for the most part, they will function exactly the same as any category on WordPress. Uh, so hopefully if you're experienced with WordPress or if you've at least used it before, you're comfortable and familiar with the idea of categorizing your content uh, by where it should ideally live. So ultimately the same principles apply uh, when it comes to product categories. You wanna have your products in categories that make sense for them to be in. So we've got this website and it has one product on it now which is a pair of old boots. So we're just gonna run with that theme and say that this is a clothes store of some kind. And so what I've done here is I've already created one category. I did that when I was creating the actual product itself and I called that category men's. So what we maybe think about doing now is drilling down into those categories a little bit further. So we might put a category called shoes there and we'll put it into the men's category. And here what you can do is add a description. Uh, now, depending on the theme you're using, uh, the, the description may or may not be actually visible uh, to the end user who's actually on your website. So I actually think it's always best to put in a category description just in case um, because you never know. And, you know, down the line, you might want to change your theme and have one that does show that. So I think it's very useful to do that. So for this one, we might say uh, the latest in men's shoes or something to that effect. You can also choose the display type. Uh, and this is because we're using WooCommerce, of course. You can leave it as default, so it's just like a normal category, which is a product, subcategories, or both. This is a subcategory, so we'll put it as a subcategory. And then you can see something we can do with the theme and framework we're using is actually have a category image or a category thumbnail. Uh, you can just simply click upload there. Uh, there's nothing really in the media library at the moment except for that picture of hot boots. So I'm just gonna leave that off for now. But what we can do is add new product category. And then we can see that's been added there to subcategory of men's shoes. So what you then do is jump back into your products. Uh, we've only got this one at the moment. So we'll go on edit and then we'll just make sure it's also in that subcategory and we'll update it now. And we'll just take a quick look at that to make sure it's displaying appropriately. There we go. So that's really nice over on the left hand side here. You can see that breadcrumb navigation. We've got home, shop, men's, shoes, and then old boots. So people can just jump back into the shoes category. And there you go. You can see those shoes just showing up there. It's a little bit off to the left, uh, a little bit more than I'd like to see it, but just for a demo, it's okay. And further that, you can go back a couple of levels further and see everything that's in the shop and so on. Of course, if you need to change any of these at any time, you can come back into categories and just hover over and edit as you require. And you can get back to all those fields that we had before. So, you know, changing the display type, adding an image, the description and so on. But that's where we're gonna wind this video up. That's uh, all you really need to know when it comes to managing product categories with WooCommerce. If you have any questions about what we've done, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And of course, if you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more.